referred to as Our Lady of Saluva, but translated in English as Our Lady of the Pines, is the story that is known as When Our Lady Came, to remind the people of the town of Saluva, Lithuania, to return to their Catholic faith. Such a message that this world needs today. The history of this apparition is important to the rest of the story, so let's plow through this as best we can. The establishment of a church in Saluva was the initiative of a nobleman named Petrus Gadagas, who worked in the service of Vitotas the Great. In 1457, Gadagas bought the land and built a church in honor of Our Lady, gifting the people of Saluva. On one of his trips to Rome, he bought a beautiful and magnificent painting of Our Lady and the Child Jesus. He brought the painting back to hang in the sanctuary of the new church. For many years, the people of Saluva worshipped and praised God in the little church. Then, in 1532, 75 years after the church was built, the Protestant Reformation took over Europe. Government and intellectuals became zealous Calvinists. Even the little village was taken over, as the powerful people of nobility became influenced by the Calvinists eventually pressuring people in Saluva to reform to the Protestant religion. In time, the village became predominantly Calvinist. Over time, Catholic churches were confiscated and closed and eventually burned to the ground. Fearful that the same thing would happen to their little church, a good and holy priest, Father Holebka, prepared for the likely possibility that their church would be taken over as well. He built an ironclad box and put the church's treasures in it, including the deeds and papers of ownership of the land. As he feared, the church was closed and eventually burned to the ground, and the priest buried the box deep into the ground under a large rock where the church once stood. This seems to have been inspired by God, as we will soon find out why. Over the years, the practice of the Catholic religion died out, and soon only a few of the older folk even remembered that once there had been a Catholic church in their village. But God was watching and soon acted to remind the people of their Catholic roots. Every church approved Marian apparition has something about it that makes it different from the others. In Lourdes, Our Lady appeared to a poor and uneducated young girl. And in Fatima, she appeared to three young children. For this apparition, the interesting thing about it is that she appeared in a place that was no longer Catholic. Our Lady appeared to a group of young children who were playing in the village in the year 1608. They were playing near a large rock, close to a wooden section near the field. Suddenly, they heard what sounded like a woman weeping. The weeping was very heart-wrenching to listen to, and the children looked at each other in awe and confusion. Following the sound, they saw a beautiful young woman standing on a large rock, holding a baby. They stared spellbound at this woman who was looking at them so sadly, tears rolling down her cheeks and splashing on the rock. The woman was dressed in a way that no other village woman was dressed, in blue and white flowing robes. Her hair was light brown and fell over her shoulders. A beautiful light emitted from the woman and the baby. Suddenly, she disappeared. The children were amazed and ran to tell the Calvinist pastor of the church of what they had seen. A little irritated at being interrupted from his work, he told them to stop making up stories and to go play. The children then told their parents that evening, and the news spread throughout the little village. The next morning, many parents gathered around the rock where the woman and the child had appeared. Some thought the whole thing ludicrous, while others were a little more thoughtful, as they noticed that all the children told everything to the smallest detail, each matching each other's story perfectly. The pastor saw that everyone had gathered and was alarmed that so many people believed what he called a Roman superstition. He began to preach at them, telling them that this was most certainly the work of the devil, when suddenly they heard weeping. They turned around toward the sound, and there, standing on the rock again, was the woman and the baby, exactly as the children had described her. All were in utter awe and shock as they watched this woman crying in such a heart-wrenching way that the one thought that came to them was not who was she, but why was she crying? It was the minister who finally found his voice and asked the lady this question. The woman looked sorrowfully at him and replied, There was a time when my beloved son was worshipped by my people on this very spot, 
but now they have given this sacred soil over to the plowman and the tiller and to the animals for grazing. And before they could ask any more questions, she vanished. Such was the miracle that the Mother of God wrought in the village of Saluva, where there had been no church, no priest, no mass for almost 80 years. The bishop appointed a priest to investigate the phenomenon and question all witnesses to the events. The news of the apparition spread throughout the village that reached an old blind man who was over 100 years old. He recalled a night some 80 years before when he had helped Father Holubka bury an ironclad chest filled with church treasures underneath a large rock. The villagers led him to the field of the apparitions to see if he could help locate the place where the treasures were still buried. No sooner did he reach the site where Our Lady first appeared that he suddenly regained his sight. Overcome with joy and now able to see, he was able to point out the exact location of the ironclad chest that was buried 80 years ago. Upon opening it, they found the vestments, the chalices, church deeds, and the painting of Our Lady and the infant Jesus. The painting was enshrined permanently in the Basilica of the Birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary and is venerated to this day as the miraculous image of Saluva. Now with the original documents of ownership of the church found, the people had the proof that the land was theirs. A small wooden church was built where Our Lady appeared to give her honor. And as popularity grew, a larger church was built in 1641. Needless to say, the Catholic faith once again thrived in Saluva and still thrives today. Because inspired by the apparition, the community returned to the devout practice of their religion. Our Lady of Saluva is invoked as the patroness of those who have lapsed from the faith and of those who pray for them. Our Lady of the Pines, pray for us.